My name is Kate Taylor and I'm with Telltale TV. Uh, Gloria, so my first question, With Love is a beautiful story about family and the trials and tribulations that they endure together with also beautiful representation. Uh, what drove you to want to create something with minimum drama or trauma that doesn't last? Was a happy ending always the goal or was that a decision that you had to really think about? Gosh, that's a great question, Kate. Thank you. Uh, you know, I after the really this came out of the pandemic it came out of being isolated missing family um missing all of the the raucous fun missing the good food uh and then watching familiar rom-coms that i love and being reminded that uh there are very few black brown queer and asian faces that exist in those uh, and so I wanted very much to rectify that and I thought gosh could I make something that could appeal to everybody the goal was, can I make a rom-com that will appeal to everybody, but have the representation I so deeply want, but wrapped in this blanket of a warm rom-com. I wanted it to look like a Nancy Myers movie, but just include faces you normally don't get to see at the center of the story. So when I went to Amazon with that, they were like, how quickly can you make it? And yeah, I pitched it in January. We started the room in February and here we are, right? So it was boom, boom, boom. I've never written anything so fast. The casting process was joyful. Uh, and, and I just loved getting to put something out in, in your words, trauma free. It was important. I think after this collective trauma of the last two years, uh, having something that was just about joy, just about love, just about the evolution of conversation. Um, what happens when people have been out for 10 years and they're bringing, but the next thing is bringing somebody home, seeing if your family loves them, uh, like you love them, the anxieties, of, of having a family and loving them and how sometimes that love can be uh, disarming and wonderful. And sometimes it can be a little bit uh, exhausting and, and showing messy characters that are lovable and, and grounded in reality and heightened because the holidays are always so heightened. Uh, it was a joyful cocktail uh, that I needed to, I needed to be writing for my own health and, and well being. And then we just took great joy in shooting. And now here we are putting it out into the world. So my hope is that people feel at the end of it um, satisfied that at least for now, there are some happy endings and uh, there are some open-ended endings and we'll see what happens with them. And hopefully I'll get to make many more uh, years of the show to, to explore those further. Uh, yeah, speaking of open endings, I know you can't speak about it, but I hope you do get a season two. That season finale was great. That cliffhanger is Jeff's <laughs> kiss. Um, the next question, was the role of Gladys wrote specifically for you or during the casting process, was it decided that you just fit the role better? Uh, you know, I didn't intend to write Gladys for me per se, but as we were working on it, I mean, Gladys is really a love letter to all the single Diaz, you know, those single women that decided the, the road less traveled. There's a bravery in that for women in their mid forties to say, no, thanks. I'm, I'm okay. Marriage is not in the cards for me. And that's okay. Babies are not in the cards for me. And that's okay. And these become the important, uh, you know, uncles and aunties of, of the kids that are there for everybody. Um, and I have many of these in my family and I wanted to honor them either they're divorced or, or they've decided not to marry. And I think, you know, it's, there's a bravery to Gladys and, I am the opposite. I've got, you know, I've been with my husband since I'm 16 years old. So I think that I just admire the women in my life who uh, have decided a road less traveled and are still super happy. And that's a great choice too. Uh, and I just was pitching jokes for Gladys because she was so fun. And Andy, who's my, who's my co-writer um, or my number two on the show, he was like, well, obviously you're playing Gladys. And I was like, ah, I think I should. And then Amazon was supportive of it. So that's how it happened. Well, I think that was one of the best decisions. <laughs> hilarious. I see that our time is up. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thanks, Kate.